M98 Mage Run has been around since the early Magenta 1 days, and a version of it for Magenta 2 is also available. This tool is really popular and allows you to carry out common tasks very quickly from command line. You can download it from GitHub, or if you use my Docker Magento project, it's pre-installed. Just type bin slash 98 mage run to. Running this command will output everything that is available. Many of these commands go above and beyond the built-in bin magento commands. But one of the best commands in this list is the interactive PHP shell. Let's run the script with the dev console command to drop into an interactive PHP shell. If you use Docker Magento, you can instead run bin slash dev console. That's an alias that is easier to remember. Within this prompt, you can run just about any PHP command. For example, I can run one plus one and it outputs two. Where the script really shines though is running Magento commands. N98 Mage Run 2 makes Object Manager available with a special DI variable. If we just type it and hit enter, it returns an instance of the Object Manager. Object Manager is a dependency injection container that is responsible for initializing all of the objects and managing dependencies in Magento. If you don't really know what Object Manager is or what it does, be sure to check out my Magento 2 Coding Kickstart course, which has over 80 lessons going over all of the fundamentals of Magento, including dependency injection, object instantiation, and much, much more. Let's retrieve some dynamic product data. If you watched my other video about Magento and Tinkerwell, you'll know that the Joust duffel bag is my favorite sample product. So let's go ahead and load up its product data. First, we will import the product repository interface with use Magento catalog API product repository interface. Then we'll create an instance of the product repository by creating a product repository variable and assigning it to a call of di create. Within the parentheses, we will pass in a call to the product repository interface colon colon class. Now that we have a product repository object, we can use it to fetch some product data. Let's create a new product variable and assign it to a call to the product repository's git method passing in a string of the Joust duffel bag SKU, which is 24-MB01. Afterwards, we'll call product get data. Inspecting this output, we can see that we have the full product details for the Joust duffel bag, including all of its attributes, media gallery images, quantities, and more. You can use Mage Run to quickly retrieve specific records, test out one-off Magento code snippets, or just quickly write some scratch code before implementing it in another area of Magento. If you are doing something interesting with the Dev Console, definitely let me know in the comments below. Another neat thing about this script is that you can easily get it working within an ephemeral lockdown hosting solution like Magento Cloud. This allows you to carry out tasks that would normally be pretty difficult to carry out within these environments. Besides the fact that it works insanely fast and within so many different environments, it's also completely free and open source. Mage Run also runs in practically every version of Magento and PHP and has been supported for over seven years now. If you haven't already, be sure to check it out on GitHub and give it a star. That's the gist of the Dev Console, it's that simple. You may also like another debugging tool called Tinkerwell, a commercial REPL tool that also has support for Magento. Be sure to check out that video that goes over all about it. And if you like this video, please hit that like button so you can help spread the word to other Magento devs. Thanks a bunch, and as always, keep coding.